We got into this huge argument on nuclear energy. I'm against it, and he's for it. Now, that argument somehow got replaced by some brouhaha on the war. I'm against it, and he's for it. And that segued into taxes. And he doesn't think he should have to pay any. And I said to so him... So you had a lot of political you... differences. Yes. Yes. Well, then the very next day, after I did inform him that I voted for McCain, he called me a complete idiot. Uh, Mr. Feldkamp called you an idiot. A complete one. And then what happened? Well, not long after that, he walked into my office and he fired me. Have you ever had any yearly reviews with respect to your employment with Mr. Feldkamp? Yes. How'd they go? Okay. He said I could perform better, and he said sales could be higher. But in this economy? Come on. You know that. It's bad everywhere. I mean, it's like the number one problem in this country right now. So you consider the economy to be the number one problem in the country? Yes, I do. If I may ask, how does John McCain's economic policy differ from Barack Obama's? Taxes. And, um... Well, I'm not exactly sure what else, to be honest. Well, if you consider it to be the number one problem in the country... Look, even despite how they all say they'll be different, they all do the same thing once they get elected. Come on, you know that. You were an ardent Hillary Clinton supporter, were you not? Yes, I was, proudly. And according to your co-workers, you crossed over to McCain primarily because of Sarah Palin? Yes. Because her policies were consistent with Hillary's? Because I was impressed with her. And because she strikes me as a real American, which is what this country needs. And you liked her spunk. And the country needs spunk, too, yes.